Good evening. I'm going to do a shave here tonight. Just got home, well, yes, last night from uh, the Kentucky meetup. Um, it was really cool. We uh, had several vendors show up there and um, had Maria and JD Armin show up from Through the Fire Crafts. I uh, got to look at some of JD's razors. And I'll be um, showing you one of those here in a video coming up pretty soon. Uh, Maria did a custom scented soap and aftershave for us. Uh, Dr. Mike from Dr. Mike Shaving Emporium showed up. And um, he brought in the chiseled line uh, as well as Mogala Bay Rum that he sells in his store. That's um, Dr. Dr. Mike Shaving Emporium. Lockhart's was there and um, no actually Lockhart's wasn't there. Lockhart's I'm going to show in this video to, uh, tonight. Uh, who else was there? Ernie and Brandon from um, the Shaving Yeti was there. So, and, uh, so yeah it was, it was definitely a, a great time to meet these folks and you know put names to faces. Gonzo from um, uh, Rockin' and Shaving was there. Um, and big thanks to Dennis from DNV Barbershop there in Kentucky, Richmond, Kentucky, for hosting everything and giving us a place for a couple crazy guys to get together and uh, share something that we are passionate about. <clears throat> I have my brush soaking in a uh, bowl made by Maria from Through the Fire Crafts. Um, she is a potter. She also makes soaps as well, and her husband is kind of the blacksmith and razor maker on um, this bowl i've just got my brush soaking because it has a little notches there to hold your brush it's also good for lathering as well because it has the grooves on the inside it has a little place there to hold your brush as well so i'm using that made by maria tonight in my hair i have the lockhart's hair groom this is a light hold high shine so you know definitely has some recombability you can definitely see the shine and stuff. So, yeah, not much hold, but just kind of keep your, your hair in place. Um, and you can recomb it throughout the day as you need to, see fit, what have you. I typically like a light hold, especially in the winter time, because you wear a, a beanie of sorts. <clears throat> and, you know, instead of keeping my hair matted down, I can pull my, my comb out of my pocket and look halfway presentable whenever I get out of my truck and walk into a business location and it's too worn to wear my hat. So, now the soap and aftershave I'm using is from Beaver Woodwright out of Beaver, Pennsylvania. Um, it's kind of a relatively new company to the scene. I have not heard about it until this past week. <clears throat> Excuse me, Kelly Hogan is the person responsible for these products. You can find them on Facebook and such, and really pleasurable gentleman to talk to. Um, he wanted to send out some products to the group, and he did, and he's like, give us some feedback. So, here we are. I said, you know, definitely wanted to give it a shot and try it out. Whips up a pretty good lather. I will say that. Dad, mm -hmm. can I wear my same shorts that I wore today? Oh, um, no. That'd be kind of dirty. Great. But I didn't wear them for long. Yeah, oh, those that uh -huh. you wore to play in? No, you got hair all over them. Oh, you all right? Mom, I'm go next okay, go naked. Now this is the what scent is this? Blackbeard scent. It's kind of mildly scented. Um, my nose isn't the greatest for picking up different notes and everything. Oh, the haircut come from DNV Barbershop there in Richmond, Kentucky. So shout out to them. <clears throat> Exit 77 off the I-75 there in Richmond. Make sure you go in there and tell them Rick sent you. You get a $3 increase in price. I mean, an insane amount of lather is really good. I do like that. Nice peaks and such, you know, it's good. You know, if you're in the meringue type lather, you can definitely whip that up. Um, looking at the ingredients. Dad. Hmm. Dad. What, baby? Coconut oil, palm oil, sapphire oil, glycerin, 
water, hydroxide, sorbet, blah, 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 blah. Reading those ingredients initially, I did not expect I was going to get a decent lather. Um, you know, usually whenever you have a soap that isn't hot, you know, is high in the oils and such like that, you typically don't get a great lather from it. Uh, however, pleasantly surprised with this. So, I'm going to be using, this is a not yet released aftershave splash made by uh, the Beaver Woodwright. That's W-O-D-W-R-I-G-H-T, Woodwright. Alright, so, let's get the shave in here. Nice amount of slickness and glide, you know, no problems at all. So I'm actually going to finish off the shave with the splash and then I'm going to use the balm afterwards. I think the balm is not really, I mean it's pretty much already for sale, been tested, ready to go and such. The splash is brand new. So now we'll be using one of the razors made from through the fire in a upcoming video. We had a about 20 plus vendors um that helped us out in some form or another. So <clears throat> make sure you subscribe and watch Gonzo's channel, uh, Rocking and Shaving. Um, there might be an upcoming giveaway on that channel. So watch, subscribe, and share. Also, he'll be featuring a number of vendors on there as well. And um, you know, we hope that you find something to interest you and give these guys a visit. Um, these guys dipped into their pockets pretty deeply to help us out, say in one form or another. And for that, you know, we cannot thank them enough. And you know, we hope that, honestly, that uh, you may see something you enjoy, that you enjoy, and will want to give one of these guys a try. And at the very least, tell others about them. As like I said, only mention a select, not a select few, but very few um, in this particular video. There are plenty more to come though. And they are in no particular order. I just went to my shelf and picked up a few things. I happened to put in the uh, Lockhart's today, so I said, hey, I'll talk about Lockhart's as well. The hair room's pretty neat. They do have a water base coming out uh, next month, this month sometime. So you want to make sure you're part of the Lockhart Street team, which is like their um, email newsletter and such. And you get the first-hand knowledge uh, and notifications of everything that's up and coming. So be sure to check them out. L O C K H A R T S, I believe it is. Uh, Lockhart's online. Check them out. Also, if you wanted to make a lather in the bowl, you very easily could. It's just straight off the puck into here. A little more water to it, blah, blah, blah. Just go to town. So, I'm not going to bother you with a second pass. Just kind of want to show you this bowl. It's got a nice, I mean, it's perfect for holding in the palm, whipping up your lather. Set your brush to the side out of the way so it doesn't flop into the bowl and such. You build up your 
or put your lather on and good to go. I've got a couple of razors I've got to hone and send back out to some guys that are at the meetup. Well, that really brought up the scent using the bowl for some reason. Or my nose is opened up a little bit more for whatever reason. So, um, it's got a really nice scent. It's a little bit of spice in there. It's just pretty darn cool. <clears throat> so, still, you know, plenty of uh, good lather there on the puck. It's a, it's a softer soap for sure. Um, I, I don't know. You might could use it as a cream, Ian. You know, taking a pinch out. I don't know. You could or not. Let's try it and see. I kind of doubt it. Trips off the bowl. I mean, I saw this kind of green bowl. I, I just had to have it. It was really cool. I was a sucker for green stuff for whatever reason. A little bit in there. All right, let's just see what happens here. It might not be able to work as a cream. You can definitely lather it up, but I mean, does it, uh, does that little piece go away or does it just kind of just stay there? You know, I'm trying to find out. Nice and light, not too heavy. It, well, it kind of goes away a little bit. And of course, I kind of, I don't know. If you wanted to do that, you could, most obviously. You can do it either way. Well, that didn't break down totally. Yeah, I can lather it up some more. Add some more water, make it all break down. I've gotten so used to just lathering on top of a puck that and that's what I typically do. So anyway, I'm going to pause this for a second. Get cleaned up. Good job on the soap there, Beaver Woodwright. Good job on the uh, shaving bowl there, Maria, from uh, Through the Fire Crafts. And I'll be back with you in just a moment. Alright. Now, a lot of times I will take whatever leftover lather is in my brush and put back on my face. And then, um, after a shave. And then wipe it off with a wet cloth. And I find that the ingredients in the soap help to... It's kind of soften everything up. It just makes the face feel really good. It's kind of a pre-after shave, if that makes any sense. Kind of a weird way to say that. <clears throat> and, it, you know, it puts uh, your, your lather there to good use. Um, this is the Davy Jones Locker. Now, this is a generic label just for testing purposes. Um, I've also squeezed out some samples of this and sent to some other people as well. The scent... Oh gosh, like a, I don't know, very mild. Um, I, I could use a little bit more scent on this particular one. It's got a smoky, gray type scent, a kind of smoky-like. Um, like some burnt wood or something like that. Really kind of hard to, to nail that down. It's a little bit of vetiver in there, possibly. It's, it's really kind of difficult to say on that one. Um, feels good on the face. Definitely has. It has a little bit of burn, uh, possibly from the fragrance oils or, or something. Um, I think these are alcohol-free. I cannot remember the, the content on those. Um, I do wish to get some waterproof labels. You know, on, on the tins. I do think, you know, the branding of the tins and everything are changing. Um, and possibly going to a more waterproof label. I, I don't know for certain. It seems like I do remember hearing that. Uh, that kind of rinse everything off and stuff. It might, might, you know, I take wet shaving quite literally. You get everything wet in the house, I believe. The burn goes away pretty quickly. Uh, leaves a nice conditioning of um, effect there. You can feel a tiny bit of cooling sensation, like a little bit of menthol in there. Um, just a very, very little bit. Uh, if you're not a fan of menthol, I would not let that even concern you because it's 
you know, toothpaste is more cooling. Um, you know, not saying that in a bad way. It, it feels good. Don't get me wrong. It does feel quite nice, but it's just very mild. All right, now let's try the balm. It's kind of gone away. The skin feels good and soft for sure. All right, nice uh, bottle. You're gonna probably go with a waterproof label. Just keep that intact and everything. Don't really want to taste it. What am I doing? We got throwing aftershave. More scent in the aftershave balm than the soap, and the spice really comes out. Goes on rather well. It feels good. Definitely feel just a tad bit of cooling again. A little bit of burn. Um, but good. Very good. Not too greasy. Not too weighted down. Uh, that That is a... A good scent for sure. Oh, I'm sorry, it's Aladdin Spice. Aladdin Spice. No wonder it smells spicy. It is not Blackbeard, it's Aladdin Spice. Okay. I got a matching soap and aftershave. You can see right here, the aftershave says Aladdin Spice. So, all right. There's that. Um, <clears throat> got any questions, you know, comment and ask. Uh, hopefully you guys check out some of these vendors. Give them a shout. Give them some, you know... Some business, share the word, you know, share these uh, videos with people you know or people you don't know. Uh, make sure you subscribe to Gonzo's channel there um, and be on the lookout there for a giveaway. I believe he's probably going to wait till he gets around like 250 subscribers. He's just a hair under 200 right now. So, you know, the more you share that and get people to sign up, the more quickly we'll get to moving to a video or not a, a, uh, a giveaway. And the giveaway will basically be giving away some products that some of these uh, vendors have had sent us for the meetup. So, I appreciate your time. And we'll see you around. Thanks a lot, guys.